Classic Cinema and TV fans, Jason here with you once again on another Classic Cinema Plus. And today we're looking at a brand new release from the good folks at a Film Chess Media Group. Now, Film Chess Media Group have been uh, releasing a lot of really cool stuff um, here lately. Uh, we, we saw the box set of uh, The Lost World, which is really cool. We've also seen uh, the uh, Colonel March uh, complete TV series uh, release. Uh, I mean, just so much really cool stuff. And uh, here's another one. This one is pretty awesome. I, I actually have never seen this one. Um, it's a TV series, a short-lived TV series. Um, and it's a Canadian uh, TV series. That's probably why I don't, I've never seen it. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. This is Grand Star. We're talking... This TV series on Blu-ray today on Classic Cinema Plus. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so um, Grand Star was uh, kind of an interesting. It's it's based on a, a novel series, and um, and uh, I never read the novels, so uh, this I'm kind of flying blind into watching this, but. Um, uh, basically it was, um, it was a, uh, TV series that was produced for, uh, Saturday morning or Saturday afternoons, I should say for the space, the imagination station network. Okay. So I, you know, like I said, this is a Canadian series. Um, and, uh, it, um, kind of groundbreaking in a lot of ways. Um, you know, kind of, um, you know, Saturday afternoon, uh, really, really sci-fi heavy. Um, you think Saturday afternoons, you think, you know, more cartoons or stuff like that. Uh, although that's kind of gone by the way, uh, compared to what it used to be. But anyway, but that's usually what you think of more or less. Um, but here's really sci-fi heavy, um, series. Um, not adult, but more teen, uh, and adult, uh, series. Uh, so not, not for... I won't say it's like dirty or anything, um, but it's just more adult uh, when you think of it in storyline wise. Uh, so uh, small kids are going to be completely lost, in my opinion, with this. Um, basically, what Grand Star is, is uh, the Earth has um, lost the sun. Um, that's basically what it's about. Um, there was an explosion on the moon. It destroyed the sun and the sun went away. And, uh, so, um, the world has been plunged into darkness and, um, the world has become more or less like an ice age. And there's, um, you know, stations, um, that people live on to keep warm and whatever. And one of them is the Grand Star. Um, and, uh, so it's kind of an interesting little series. Um, like I said, I've never seen it before, but I, for this video, uh, because I've not gone through the whole thing yet, but I did want to at least get an idea what it was, uh, to, to be able to talk about it a little bit. And, uh, so I watched the first couple episodes and, um, I will tell you, um, this is a very low budget type of, uh, um, sci-fi series. And what I mean by low budget, I mean the special effects wise. Um, not that it's cheap or cheaply made. It's, it's very well produced, but it's the, the, um, the CGI, the, the computer graphics are, um, they're okay, but you can tell they're not high end. Okay. Um, and plus, you do have to take into consideration this is a 2007 series. So uh, even from 2007 uh, to where we are now, um, computer graphics have come leaps and bounds. Um, so so there is that too. Um, but it's an interesting series. I, I thought it was pretty cool. It's kind of different. Um, so um, Film Chess Media Group um, have um, put all 27 or 26 episodes on, uh, on, uh, two discs. Okay. So we get, um, the two disc set. Okay. All right. In this, you get, uh, the booklet that has all the different, um, kinds of, um, episodes. And in this, um, as you can see, 
they are um, they give you the synopsis of all the of every episode that is uh, in this. Um, like I said, 20, 26 episodes in its entirety. Uh, pretty cool. Um, uh, in this, you get um, a little uh, additional thing that's more uh, titles from um, Film Chess Media Group, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, like I said, this comes in a really heavy um, slipcover, um, very heavy box slipcover, which I think is really cool. I love that. Um, yeah, uh, same artwork, slipcover, and disc uh, art. So uh, it's the same thing. Um, but like I said, I have not seen the entire series yet. Okay, I have watched the first couple episodes. And I will tell you, the the, the episodes that I have seen um, lay out the story um, pretty interestingly. Um, you you begin to check out the episodes and you begin to, to understand these characters, who they are. Uh, it's, it's really well played out uh, in the first couple episodes. Um, it it kind of cliffhangs you for each episode, which is kind of cool too. It kind of makes you want to, uh, well, I got to see what's going on. And, uh, there is a bigger mystery going on. Um, we thought it might've been just the explosion, but maybe just maybe there's something a little, little more going on there. And, um, and like I said, I didn't read the book, so I don't know. And I don't want to know. I want to watch the series to kind of let it, uh, go, go forth and kind of see what it is. But, um, but it, it, it seems very interesting. If you can get past the primitive uh, looking, <laughs> you know, um, special effects, I mean, those are uh, something. I mean, you do have to take that into consideration. The, the special effects are a little bit primitive, uh, especially by today's standards. But, um, but it's still pretty cool um, from what I've seen so far. Um, I don't know, know much about it because, like I said, I don't know if this ended in a cliffhanger or not. And I hope it didn't. Because that's one thing that I hate when they do that. When they when they end a series in a cliffhanger, yeah, you know, it drives me nuts. Um, like uh, with uh, with uh, Quantum Leap, oh, or like with uh, one of my favorites, Sliders. I loved Sliders, and they just up and left you just completely hanging. And it's it, uh, oh, those are things that really. Um, really bother me a lot. And so I'm hoping this isn't, but somehow it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but we will have a full written review of this as soon as we get through it. Uh, we won't be long because, uh, yeah, this is this is going to be a fast watch because uh, it's uh, it, it's it's very interesting. There, The 26 episodes are, are only about, um, probably about 23, 24 minutes each. Uh, so so they're not very long. So you, you can get through this whole series pretty fast. Um, so we'll be having a full written review of Grand Star coming up at Classic Cinema Plus. I want to thank you for joining me today as we take a look at this new release from the Film Chess uh, Media Group. Uh, let us know what you think about uh, Grand Star. Have you seen it? Are you interested in it? And uh, if you are, are you going to pick this up for your collection? Let us know in the comments. Um, also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we would appreciate it. That helps out a lot to know you appreciate what we're doing. So please do that. And um, as we said, go to Classic Cinema Plus every single day. We got tons of reviews up there and, uh, and new ones every single day, more or less. Um, sometimes the weekends we take off. It just depends. But at least five days a week, new reviews every single day and uh, entertainment news and all kinds of stuff up there. So be sure to go there and check it out. And until we're with you next time with another Classic Cinema Plus, this is Jason reminding you that if you want to see a great film or a TV series, check out a classic. And we will see you next time here on Classic Cinema Plus. Have a good one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.